I just want to finish with a little bigger picture. What mm -hmm. does uh, what this particular incident does uh, say about the car investment climate in Ukraine? Because Ukraine is desperately seeking for investments. And on the other hand, we see moves like this one with the regulations, which is practically shuts down the, uh, the market for international companies. Maybe what we're seeing right now is not a deliberate attack on uh, you know, liberal market values, but a kind of chaos inside the government. Again, with those arrests of the uh, presumably company that they're lobbying for, and then those new aviation rules and uh, those desperate attempts of the Ukrainian government to gather as much international investment investors as possible. Yeah, I mean, for all I know, there could be some sort of uh, behind the scenes fighting between various uh, uh, sort of uh, interest groups. I mean, uh, I'm not sure exactly what is going on and why those uh, things are happening exactly, but uh, as for uh, investment climate that, or as for the message that this is uh, the decision or this proposal is sending to uh, international investors into Ukraine, it's clearly not a good message. Uh, the best recipe for attracting uh, foreign investment is uh, basically to open up the market. Uh, tell the investors that, okay, uh, invest into this country, we are going to ensure your property rights, we are going to uh, sort of make sure that uh, you are able to do your business with uh, as little impediment as reasonably possible, etc. And that's when investor, that's when uh, money will start flowing in. And if you are sending uh, like messages that uh, essentially can be interpreted as either that you are not interested in creating this um, the, the right environment for investment, or that uh, there is something not. Um, sort of clear in within your government obviously this and on top of that there is a war going on in the country obviously this uh, will make investors extra, extra cautious thanks a lot um thanks for joining us it was Volodymyr Bilotkach from Newcastle University he joined us uh, by Skype from Un uh, United Kingdom